everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel my name is kelly i hope you stay thank you so much for clicking on my video today i'm super super excited for this video <laughs> So if you're new to my channel, my name is Kelly and on this channel, I do all things fragrance and smell goods. This channel is new. I made it just for fun and we are already at 200 and something subscribers. So thank you guys so, so much for that. I did not expect that because when I made this channel, I was like, I'm going to make this channel for fun and I already have people interacting with my videos and subscribing and giving me video suggestions and stuff like that so that's pretty cool thank you guys so much for you know your interest in watching my video and all of that so on today's video we are going to be doing a perfume haul these are all perfumes that i got last month in december um some of them were gifts and then most of them i purchased myself i'll let you guys know which ones were gifts so i'm really excited because i'm just getting into fragrances like i recently just started getting really into fragrances and purchasing perfumes and stuff like that like a few months ago and i feel like so far my collection is doing pretty pretty good so i am really really excited for that and yeah, let me just show you guys what I got last month. So let's start with the Dior um, Poisons. So this one is Dior Poison Girl. And this is the Eau de Toilette. And then this one is the Dior Hypnotic Poison. Also the Eau de Toilette. This one I purchased myself. I got this one from Sephora. And this one was a Christmas gift from one of my sisters you guys i am in love with both of these fragrances um especially i love hypnotic poison it's just so sweet so gourmand it smells just edible amazing it's super creamy ah just super bomb ah, this one is so so good you guys if you like sweet creamy fluffy gourmand fragrances but like sexy at the same time then definitely go go for the or hypnotic poison i'll put the fragrance notes um on the screen but i know this has like vanilla and other notes that make it just so creamy so bomb i love this so so much and i love to pair this with my sugar cookie um body care vanilla body care anything that's like gourmand I pair with this and it goes so so well with it so yeah this one is the or hypnotic poison and then this one's poison girl which is the opposite of hypnotic poison this one is a more like fresher fragrance it's sweet it's to me it's sweet it's a little floral and it's just a really nice fresh sweet um a little bit floral fragrance like i really love it i'll put the fragrance notes on the screen as well so you guys can see but this one smells amazing like absolutely beautiful but it does not last as long on my skin like i love this fragrance so so much it smells so good it does really really good with my body chemistry but it does not last as long on my skin like i could barely smell it like it becomes a skin scent within like three hours for me um and the projection is not crazy either like on my skin i don't know about anybody else if you have this fragrance or if you tried it let me know you know how it performs for you and stuff like that but it is not like you know a beast mode fragrance like by any means it's just an easy wear super fresh super sweet nice just a light beautiful fragrance nothing like you know crazy not a beast mode fragrance people will not smell this on you after like i would say like three hours well at least that's what happens to me i do smell it on myself after those three hours i do smell it on my clothes after those three hours it just doesn't project or i don't really get whiffs of it like i have to really smell myself um after those like three hour three ish hours so yeah this one is the or poison girl and this is the elder toilet um i do want to try the elder parfum but this is the one that i have right now moving on you guys my favorite perfume alien i know that a lot of people um love alien a lot of people don't it's like no in between but i love alien it is my 
favorite favorite perfume is so strong so sexy i know most of you have already heard of alien but if you haven't um here are the fragrance notes the fragrance notes are super simple but this um fragrance is anything but simple it's dark very dark very strong very sexy and it's a beast mode fragrance like it lasts all day and it lasts for days on your clothes like really really bomb so yeah you guys this is definitely a fragrance that you need to be careful with because not a lot of people like it it's very very strong but it's like one of the sexiest fragrances i've smelled like in my opinion i just love it i feel really really good when i'm wearing this fragrance but it's definitely not an everyday fragrance like whatsoever but i love this one and my dad got me this for christmas so it was a gift and i'm super happy that i have it i really really love it um i had the travel size bottle last year and i never like purchased the full size bottle but i'm so happy that i have the full size bottle i love this fragrance so so much and then the next one that i have that i purchased last month from sephora is alien fusion and i love this one if you like the original alien you most likely would love this i'll put the fragrance notes on the screen again but i really really love this fragrance it's it has the alien dna it's like it has that alien like in it it smells so good it's just so good you guys it's just so good you guys i love this fragrance so much i'm not that good describing fragrances but it is also like a spicy sexy strong beast mode fragrance and i did wear it already and i love it it lasts me all day just like the original alien like i feel like this is an underrated um perfume it smells so good to me you guys is spicier to me than this one i don't know it's just the bottle says it all like what you see is what you get with this it's just sexy like captivating super strong spicy and alien i don't know it's just so bomb so yeah this one is alien fusion if you guys have tried it let me know in the comments what you guys think about alien fusion then you guys i did get the ysl mon Peris. Um, I got this one last month as well and I am in love like completely in love with this fragrance it smells so good I'll put the fragrance notes here like I feel like everybody should have this in the collection it's just an easy fragrance to wear like you guys can already see like my vibe what I like in fragrances I like strong dark um just stronger sexier fragrances that's like what I like as well as gourmand fragrances but this one is just, I don't know, it's so good. I'll put the notes right here. It's a really sexy fragrance, but it's also easy wear. Like, it's something you don't have to think about too much um, to wear. You know, there's certain fragrances that you feel like you have to be really dressed up in order to wear them and stuff like that. Or like, oh my God, what am I going to wear? Like, or where am I going to go? This one is an easy wear, but... It's also really sexy and perfect for like a simple date night, a casual like brunch. It's, I would say it's perfect for day and night. You know, not like Alien. I would say Alien is more, both Aliens of these Aliens, I would say they're more like a nighttime fragrance. Um, party fragrance, you know, going out fragrance, statement. Like you want to make a statement, you want everybody to smell you in the room. But this one is more casual yet really sexy to me like i really love it and the longevity is bomb like i smell this for hours it projects for hours on me and i just love it like so so much and this one is ysl montberry then you guys i have paco roban olimpia aqua and oh my god this was love at first sniff for me like i really really love this fragrance again it is around the same vibes as alien i'll put the notes right here but it just has something in it that is like the same vibe as alien it does not smell similar but it's like that same vibe like dark sexy just uh captivating just i'm here scent it's just so good if you haven't tried it you definitely need to try it 
if that is like your vibe but at the same time it's fresh i don't know it's just so good you guys and this one is olympia aqua i haven't tried the um other olympia and it's just so good you guys it's just so bomb and the bottle is super cute but yeah you guys you definitely have to try this i would say this one you can wear in the day and the night as well but not just to go like grocery shopping or anything i will wear this to brunch i will wear this on a date i'll wear this for lunch like a really nice little lunch spot i'll wear this like anywhere that you want people to be like mm, okay like she smells good like it's just so good and i love it like i love how i feel when i wear this fragrance i love it so so much and this one is olympia aqua then you guys you guys already seen me talking about this one i have a full video on it but this one is like new kayali um eden juicy apple and i made a full video on it um i got this one as soon as it launched as well it's my first time trying kayali fragrances but you guys let me tell you guys i love i got a sample of the sweet diamond pink pepper and i am going to grab a full bottle of that because that fragrance is a bee small fragrance amazing beautiful gorgeous fragrance but anyways we're not talking about that one but i'm definitely grabbing the full bottle of that but this one is the um eden juicy apple and it's just a nice fruity fresh flirty fragrance um yeah that's all i have to say about it you can watch my video about it but i did get this one last month as well it's super juicy like extremely juicy fruity berry appley scent and yeah let me know what you guys think about this fragrance if you guys already tried it or if you guys just smelt it or have a sample or whatever it is let me know what you guys think about this fragrance i'll put the fragrance notes right here as well but yeah kayali eden juicy apple then i did order this fragrance from okcha and this is a dupe house that like does um dupes for um other fragrances and this one is sweet addict and i got this one because it is supposed to be a dupe um for killian love don't be shy i believe and i got it and i'm not crazy about this honestly I have to give it another try but it just has something in it that i don't like i don't know it's not like what i expected people were saying this is what rihanna smells like well the Korean love don't be shy and i was so excited to try and do version um before i went and bought like the actual one i might give the actual one a try with maybe like a sample or like a travel size or something if they even have that but this is like and it's not a love for me it's it's not i'm not crazy about it and this one is from the brand oksha and this is sweet addict then you guys the next one that i do have is choco musk and this one is choco musk by who i forgot the name of it but i got this fragrance on amazon and i got it because i seen the hype on Instagram, especially Yummy. Um, that's her name on Instagram. She raised about this perfume. So I decided to give it a try. And I'm really happy that I did. Um, it smells really good. It's just a straight up like gourmand fragrance. It's very sweet, very like edible smelling. It smells, I'll put the fragrance notes right here. But it smells to me just like vanilla, like a vanilla cake. With like a little bit of like chocolate filling in it. Something like that I would say. It's really good really sweet i would say this is a fragrance for any time like any occasion if you just like to smell edible but especially to be around the house or to be like cuddling or to be um you know to go to sleep any of those um times i think would be perfect for this fragrance but again you could wear fragrances at you know any time that you like but just know this is just like a sweet gourmand bomb of a fragrance it smells really good actually i haven't like worn it i only have smelled it like you know on my hand and stuff so i can't really say about um sillage and all of those things longevity because i haven't actually like worn it all day yet but yeah i did get it last month as well and this one is choco musk 
then you guys i did get burberry hair it's usually sold out always in the full size bottle um but i was able to grab this little like gift set last month and it comes with a little travel size and then the mini size and i am in love with this fragrance you guys i'm definitely going to buy the full size of this i am in love with burberry hair it's just so good and it gives me cloud vibes like from Ariana Grande and um Zara's Red Temptation vibes people also say that this reminds them of Baccarat um I've never seen a Baccarat like I told you guys before but I just love this fragrance like I would literally grab the full bottle I am going to grab the full size bottle once I'm done with the travel size which is soon so I am gonna grab this i love this to me this is a love and must have it lasts all day on my skin on my clothes for days i put it on my scarf i think my scarf still smells like it and i sprayed on my scarf like last week um and i love it so much and this one is burberry hair then you guys for christmas my boyfriend did get me this i'm gonna take off the plastic julia has a gun um perfumes um this one is the essential wardrobe gift set and it comes with six travel size of Juliet has a gun perfumes and I have been playing with these fragrances and I am in love with most of them some of them I don't like um let me know if I should do a dedicated video on these like reviewing them because I have been wearing them and stuff like that so it wouldn't be like a um first impression or anything it will actually be a review because i have been wearing them i'm actually wearing one of them today today i'm wearing the pear ink this is the first time i actually wear it um but yeah it, this one comes with the not a perfume pear ink vanilla vibes which i am in love with like i did not know i liked salty um fragrances or fragrances with the sea salt or salt note but i noticed and realized that i actually love fragrances with that note in it and that has it and i am in love like i will buy a full bottle of vanilla vibes but yeah it has vanilla vibes not a perfume super dose lady vengeance and mmm and the mmm literally smells like mmm like so good but yeah you guys let me know if i should do a dedicated video on these and talking to you guys about each one i know these are a little bit pricey at least for me like they're a little bit pricey so me i would like appreciate people to do like reviews on it or like talk about them before i purchase a full bottle which i will watch reviews before um i purchase any full bottle but yeah let me know if you guys would like a dedicated like review on these since i have been wearing them and again this one is julia has a gun parfums then you guys i have some travel sizes that i did get last month as well so the first one that i got is the victoria secret teas cream cloud and i got it in the travel size because i think this is the rollerball actually yeah because i wanted to smell it and test it out before i buy the full bottle i'm still like testing it i love the smell i just don't know about like the lasting power and if it projects and stuff like that yet because i only wore it once but i love 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 the scent of this one and this one is the victoria secret tease cream cloud it smells so good i really love the scent of it i'll try to find the fragrance notes for this one as well if they have it and i'll put it on the screen but yeah then i got these two from bath and body works when they were doing um their i think it was for it was for one of the sales i think it was body care day sale i'm not sure for what sale i got this but i know i got these last month and this one is the fairy tale one and a lot of people compare this to ysl libre like they say it smells like it I only smell YSL Libre at one time, so I can't really say, like, compare it, you know. But it smells really, really good, really sophisticated, really fresh. I smell lavender in there. It's just a really fresh fragrance and really easy to wear. I know not a lot of people like this scent, but a lot do. But yeah, this one is the Bath & Body Works Fairy Tale Perfume. Yeah, perfume. Then I did get the Pure Wonder from Bath & Body Works as well because I did love the spray of it, the body spray. 
and this one is really good this one is just a really bright upbeat fragrance like i really love it i think i would get the full size bottle it's just a fresh to me a little like fruity just upbeat scent it's just so so good and this one is pure wonder so that is all for this video you guys thank you guys so much for watching to the end let me know in the comments what were your thoughts if you love any of these perfumes as much as me if you dislike any of these perfumes if you have any of them if you're going to try any of them because of my video um leave me some video suggestions if you guys would like to see in-depth reviews in-depth reviews on any of these fragrances if you would like to see the julia has a gun um in-depth video and i'll see you guys in my next video